uh, Diane Sales. I'm currently the Community Partnerships Manager for the Atlanta Ballet Center for Dance Education and Director of Atlanta Ballet's Ella Camp. You started dancing at the age of 10. How did the pop off? What song was playing? Do you remember that day? Um, I do remember that day. I was actually watching uh, Natalia Macarva on a little black and white TV in my apartment in Brooklyn. I lived with my mom and I was fascinated because she was in point shoes. And my mom came home from work and I said, this is what I want to do. And I never turned back. And was it a challenge for you? Because clearly at that time, uh, there weren't a lot of women of color, girls of color. I was the only ballet. person of color. And um, it was a challenge. And um, it took me a while to adjust um, and feel comfortable. But I knew that that's what I wanted to do. How did the arts teach you discipline? Or what did it do for you personally in shaping the woman that you are today? Um, the arts gave me a sense of discipline and structure um, immediately when I was young. Um, when I left the Joffrey, I went to Alvin Ailey. And they were very structured and disciplined. And I gained that the most from them. And there's a certain etiquette that goes along with being a dancer and I learned the value of that and that carried over through my training. And what I'm doing, I never feel like what I'm doing is for me. I'm, I'm doing this for youth and so they have a chance to be successful so that they know they have a chance. Um, my position is to give them ownership of their life and you know have someone have be, st stand behind them and so that they know that there are so many possibilities and if they just take advantage of what's around them they're going to be equally successful. Sometimes coming here this might be the first time they hear that they're doing a great wonderful job at something and they need to know that if they put some effort behind it they're going to succeed. And how does it work with the Atlanta Ballet? Uh, the Atlanta Ballet actually sponsors the program uh, we are funded by the Arthur M. Blank Family Foundation and Cousins Family and the City of Atlanta. And what makes you most proud of these uh, little girls and little boys who are taking part in this program? Just their perseverance. I mean, some of them, this is the first time they're dancing, the first time they're putting tights and leotards on and being exposed to something different. They learn so much about themselves and personal development. You know, they're building their self-esteem and self-confidence and critical thinking skills. And there's such a range of growth. It's about the development of young people. When it's all said and done, of course, they want to live a long time. What do you hope and think your legacy will be? I think if I, if I have inspired young African-American girls to pursue dance as a career, I think I've done, I've done a lot. I think, because I didn't have anyone there to really tell me that I was gonna be successful. So I'm always encouraging young girls, like, you can do this. Like, yes, there are challenges, but you have to be the very best at it, and you have to be better to succeed. You know, there's no, you can't be mediocre and do this. You have to be exceptional. And I think that's what my message is, to, you know, you have to be impeccable with your words and actions. And, you know, you have to, rep you're representing some something more than just yourself.